Hi there, it's Matt Inglot from Tilted Pixel, and I'm here today to show you how you can easily embed a YouTube video into your website. The process is dead simple, let's step through it. So right now I have a video that we created here at Tilted Pixel, and I've pulled it up on YouTube. And all I'm gonna do is scroll down, and I'm gonna find the share option. I'm gonna click that, and then I'm gonna click embed here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give me a set of HTML code that I can use to put into my website. I don't have to worry about what any of this code does. Uh, what I can do instead is I can actually customize it with these options below. So there's a few things to pay attention to here. Uh, one is you wanna select the size of the video that you're going to embed. Uh, of course, every web page is different, so I don't know what size you want. Uh, we find generally though the 640 by 360 is what most people need. Uh, if you have a particularly wide website, you have lots of room, then maybe the 853 by 480 will work well for you. Uh, the other little trick uh, to make sure you do is make sure the so show suggested videos when the video finishes checkbox is off. So otherwise what'll happen is once your video finishes playing, you're going to get uh, other videos that are related showing up. And when you're showing your video inside your web page, you probably don't want people clicking through to other people's videos. Uh, so here it's already off in my case. So I'm just gonna take this code and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna copy it. And now the next step is to actually put it into the website itself. So the actual process that you're going to use to embed this video now into your website will depend a little bit on your content management system, which is the software that allows you to update your website. So I am gonna switch browser tabs here and show you how it looks like on the tilted pixel end. So this is using our editing tools. Uh, and I will toot our own horn for a sec and point out that our tools really are streamlined to make things as easy as possible for you to edit your website. It really is a great, easy experience. And I'll show you two ways you can embed your video. One that's pretty tilted pixel specific and easier, and one that should be able to work in almost any content management system. So first, the tilted pixel way. So I wanna embed my video right under this question, how do I use Webmaster Tools? I'm making like a frequently asked questions page here. So what I do is I click where I want the video and I click this embed button. And what this will do is it'll allow, allow me to put any sort of HTML into my page that I got from somewhere else without actually having to understand how it works. And it'll just put it in the right spot for me. So it gives me this little box, I paste in the code that I had previously copied, and I click insert. And there we go, it creates a little placeholder for my video. Uh, so this is actually where the video is going to go in my page. Uh, and when I actually load up the page afterwards, uh, that's what I'll see. Now, the other way you could have done this, so I'm gonna undo. If your editor doesn't have this kind of functionality, almost all of these editors have an HTML button. And when you click that, it gives you the source code for the page. Now, this is a little trickier because now we're looking at the page source code and we kind of have to understand what's going on. But you'll notice most of what you're seeing is actually the text of the website page. And if I still scroll, I can still scroll down, even if I don't understand HTML, I can scroll down and I can find where it is that I have my question about Webmaster Tools. Uh, I'm actually gonna use my search feature here. Okay, how do I use Webmaster Tools? So I find that, I see it's surrounded by a little bit of code, but if I just go to a new line and ignore what's happening here, it should work. And once again, I can paste in the YouTube code that YouTube had given me, and I can click Update. And once again, I have my YouTube video here. Uh, so again, it's not quite as easy as the first way I showed you. Uh, it certainly will work. And once I hit publish changes now, uh, the world will be able to see my video. So that's all there is to it. Uh, thanks for watching and good luck on your first video.